Hey guys, welcome to part two of uh, Android architecture component. So in this, we are going to create a view model. We are also going to create adapter. We are also going to create a menu item. And finally, we are going to add recycle rubbing. So I'll start by creating our view model class. So I'm going to have view model, which will extend Android view model. Then uh, within this one, I'm going to have private file repository. And finally, I'm going to have private list live data, which will now be a list of users. Users list. So within the constructor, we are going to have our users repository, which will be new. Users repository, and we require the application and our users list will be users repository dot get all users. So remember, our view model uh, help us not to access repository directly. So we are going to have several methods here which will be our public live data list. And then we are going to have a list of users. We are going to have get all users. This one will return repository dot get all users. We are also going to have public insert user, which will be void insert user and I'm going to pass users users and I'm going to have repository dot insert users users I'm going to have public void update user and I'm going to pass users users so i'm going to have user repository dot update user and finally i'm going to have public void edit a user and i'm going to have users users so users repository dot update users and here i'm going to have users so this is all we need for our for our view model. So the next thing that I'm going to create uh, is a holder for our let's say craving. So I'm going to have low items. Within it, I'm going to have let's change this one to linear layout. I'll give this one orientation to be vertical. And then I'm going to have text view, lab content, lab content. Let's change it to relative layout so that I can be able to arrange them. So I'm going to have to lab content, text, that for placeholder. And I'm going to have 50. Uh, I'm going to have username. So color, I'm going to give it black. I'm also going to give it um, size, which will be 16. And then I'm going to have an image view. Lab content, lab content. I'm going to align it end. I'm going to give it ID image options. This one I'm going to give it ID. I'm going to call it TV name. This one should be, let's give it a margin of five. 
and I'm going to generate to get the image that is vector sets. And here we have more. So I'm going to give it source more. And then we have the text here. So I'm going to give this one a padding 10. And also this one, I'm going to give it a padding of 10. So that's all we need for this one. We're going to create now our adapter class. So I'm going to have users adapter, which will extend in the second Oops, we have not added the sacred view, so I'm going first to add the sacred view to our dependency. So back to my main activity. Let's change this one to linear rate. I'm going to give it orientation to be vertical. I'm going to remove that one and have my sacred view here. Add to design. Okay. So we have our Lisekraven lab content. ID, I'm going to give it Lisekraven. And I'm going to have a margin of 10. So back to my adapter. So I'm going to extend dot adapter, And within it, I'm going to pass an inner class of user adapter the holder so i'm going to create this class and in the class i'm going to extend the circular view dot v holder then i'm going to generate constructor so i'm going to have private so uh for this is a view let me explain it. We have on create, on bind, and get item count, and then have this method. So the first thing that I'm going to have is private list of users, which is users list. And I'm also going to have private context context. I'm going to have to generate a constructor here. I'm going to generate an empty constructor. Then I'm going to have I'm going to have public void set data. And within set data, I'm going to have a list of users. Then I'm going to have this dot users list is equals to users list, and then I'm going to notify set data changed. So on create, I'm going to return our users adapter beholder. So I'll return users adapter beholder, and within it, I'm going to have layout inflator dot flow parent dot context. Actually, let's have our context here. So context will be palette dot get context. So this one from context dot in fret all dot layout dot low items loot. Before we pass loot, I'm going to pass palette as the group and then I'm going to attach loot as false. Need to close it one more. Wait, let's see. So we have layout inflator dot form dot inflate our row item, have our view group which is parent and attach root which is false. So I'm going to remove this one. And then let's see what we are getting here. 
So we have, okay, we turn this on. Our palette here is the view group. Let's see. Something is not happening. Okay, let's see. Oops. Okay, I get it now. So this one should be new. Then we have uh, our comb, so we have wrist, dot size. And finally here, we can have our users, users, which is now the wrist, dot get position. So let's get string, username, will be users, dot get username. And finally, uh, we are going to attach this one. So here, I'm going to have image view, image options. We have text view, FTV view. So we have image options, is equal to item view, dot find view by ID, R dot ID dot image options. And we have TV view which will be item view dot find view by id r dot id dot tv name so back here i'm going to have tv folder dot tv name dot set text username then we are going to have our image options folder dot image options dot set on click listener and we are going to have view view dot on click listener so for now i'm going to leave this one empty and then we will populate with the function that we require later so back to my main activity so i'm going to have my recycle view here recycle view here I'm going to have the secret view. It will be find view by ID, al dot id dot recycle view. So the secret view dot set layout manager. I'm going to have new linear layout manager and the context is this. Then we have linear set fixed size. That is true. And then we are going to have our adapter here users adapter users adapter so we are going to have users adapter is a question users adapter new users adapter okay then we are going to create a menu option this is a task for two what is remaining we have now the menu option the menu items so I'm going to have new Android resource and I have menu within it I'm going to have menu resource and I'm going to call it menu so what we have at uh, the menu we have item two items item I'm going to have item so the first item i'm going to have id and i'm going to have it edit let's start with update and i'm going to have the title as id this is update for the second one i'm going to have id it delete in the title, I'm going to have the read. So this is all we need to do for the part, second part of the tutorial. So on the last part, we are going to display, we are going also to add new record, update, and even the read. So guys, stay tuned for the last part of this tutorial. So in the second tutorial, we have added the view model, we have created the adapter, we have added the recycle review, low items and even the menu so let's get 
uh, tuned for the last part of the tutorial, that is part three.